Hey guys, it's Jack, and in this video, we are going to be learning the last of the three tricks that I'm going to be teaching you. Well, not counting the pen tricks, that's technically two tricks, but this is the last video in the three-part video series on learning the magic. This is my favorite of all the tricks. It is a card trick, meaning it is a bit more complicated, so you're going to want to stay the whole video and pay close attention. But once you learn it, it's an amazing trick. It may take some practice, but I know you'll really like it. We're going to perform it over there under the big overhead rig so we can get a good overhead shot of what I'm doing so you guys can see it real clearly. And we're going to have my brother Matthew helping out, and he's going to be the volunteer for this trick. Let's do it! All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're gonna have Matthew pick a card. So Matthew, can you come over here? Perfect, you're just gonna pick a card, any card. You're not gonna let me see it. So you can just take it out of the deck wherever you want. You can show the camera, I'm not gonna look. Perfect, here's what I'm gonna have you do. Don't let me see it, you're just gonna stick it into the deck wherever you want. So. Perfect, just like that. I wanna thank you for helping, you can sit back down. Here's what I'm gonna do. Behind my back, I'm actually just going to try and find that card, find the one with your fingerprints on it, and magically flip it over. And I'm gonna do the whole thing in five seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. And I did it in three, pretty good, I must say. But if we go through the deck just like this, we'll find I really did flip over one card right there it's the only card in the whole deck that's flipped over what was your card Matthew the five of hearts the five of hearts now I'm going to teach you guys how to do it so the trick is they're not really putting in the card the same direction as everything else see I have them pick a card right so say they pick this card this is the ten of diamonds so let's just remember that the ten of diamonds so here's how I do it. Um, when I say you can show the camera or I say, you know, you can show the audience if you're doing a real show and I turn away as if I'm not looking, what I'm really doing is turning over the deck and flipping over the bottom card. And now when they put it in face down, they think they're putting it in the same direction as all the cards. When really, when you turn the deck over, you realize that it's actually the only card in the whole deck except for the bottom card bottom card that is flipped over so when you go through we can find it right here Let's see if we can find it here he is it's the only card in the whole deck that's flipped over other than the bottom card so what you do when you're behind your back is all you're really doing is take is taking the deck and flipping over the bottom card when you go behind your back and you can easily do that in five seconds. I say three, two, one, and I say, look at that, I did it in three, and it seems even more impressive. And now, I say the best way to reveal it is to go through the deck and find the one that's flipped over versus going through the deck like this and finding it. Because a nice way to do it versus, you know, finding it just like this, a nice way to do it is to find it this way, pull it out of the deck, and then ask what their card was. And when they say it, Ten of Diamonds, it can match. That's a little bit more magical than just literally going through the deck and being like, was this your card? Does that make sense? One more thing before I leave you. A really nice strategy for magic is always to have a good magic word. My magic word, as you know, if you've seen my show, is belly button. But as a magician, you should form your own magic word and do something creative, not just abracadabra or alakazam. You could come up with your own really cool magic word. And you could say, you know, the magic word, that's why all the magic is happening. It's a really good idea to come up with your own magic word. It makes you look more professional, like a better magician. And when you're doing a show for your friends, it makes you look like you're not just copying someone else. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed all the tricks I showed you. And I want to thank you guys for watching and for being such an amazing audience and for being such amazing magicians. You guys are going to be awesome. Show this to your friends. Practice a little first, though. I must say, you got to practice, especially in front of a mirror, before you really show this to people. But soon you'll be on a roll doing amazing tricks for your friends and I guarantee they'll all be impressed and fooled. So I'm really excited for you. You're going to have a great time with these tricks. I'll see you guys at my next show.